What's up guys? How are you? It's me, Kelly B. You know, from the internet. Um, how are you? How are things? I have a few things I want to share. So I came to chat with you guys, one of which being uh, it is Thursday. I have not vlogged all week. I hope that the few of you who really love the vlogs um are not disappointed i'm not saying it's like oh my god your life is devastated because obvi it's not i just wanted to take a break i don't want my channel to be just vlogs and that was never really the intention i'll be honest um i started vlogging because i felt like it was good practice to hold the camera to walk around to talk to you guys to um, I mean, I think I feel natural in front of the camera, but it was just very much an exercise in flexing a different muscle because I am a blogger. I'm a blogger. So I'm very much used to taking photos and that sort of thing. And my YouTube channel being new-ish, we are a few months old, you guys. We're probably like four or five months old. So I'm not saying that I won't vlog ever again. I just, I felt like ending the weekly vlog at seven uh was a good idea because seven is a really good number so we're on to the next also you know i gotta keep my brain interested because my attention span is short like so short um so i wanted to kind of refocus and do some different things and i hope that you understand and will enjoy without further ado why are we here? Some things have come in the mail, you guys. I've bought some things, some things have been sent to me. I felt like you really need to know about um, all of these things, at least. You know, lots of things have come, but these are the things that I felt like my peoples on the internets need to know. So this is a new in video, guys. New in. Brand spanking new, you guys. So this is from Maybelline and it's called The Blushed Nudes. Um, if you have been following me for any amount of time, the blushed nudes sounds like something out of my actual dreams. I'm gonna try to open this because I haven't as yet. The blushed nudes, all I wanted to wear last fall was blush and nude. Like my life was devoid of color on purpose. So the blushed nudes definitely spoke to me. Can we open this? The blush nudes definitely spoke to me. These sad little applicators though. I don't know, drugstore spongy. There is gray, there is like purple. There's, this one's my favorite. This one's my favorite, let's swatch it. Let's see what's happening here. Do we have any color? Is this a thing? Uh-oh. The color payoff, you guys, yikes. Okay, keep adding. Okay, keep adding. Um, hopefully you can see that. So it's like a charcoal gray with rose gold flecks. I think this is actually gonna be pretty on top of something. I'm hoping that these colors actually, whoo. You guys, this is what happens when you do things live. You need a lot of layers for the color to show up. They are pretty. These are probably for a much uh, more fair human being than myself, but they're really pretty. I'm gonna try them out. I'll give you the details. Don't buy this one just yet. I will let you know if we're messing with this one or not. I think these are gonna be good for layering. I gotta be honest. And it was so inexpensive. I don't even remember. I mean, it's like a couple bucks, so. Our hearts aren't broken. The next thing that I picked up from the drugstore is this crayon. It's also from Maybelline Color Tattoo. Have you guys seen this? Have you guys seen this? It looks cool. Now, I'm not trying to destroy my manicure opening up these things, so. Cause y'all know if my nails chip, I'm gonna get in trouble. We cannot have that. So this is some sort of crayon. I'm not gonna act like an expert and tell you what to do with said crayon because I don't know. I thought the color was pretty. I thought the color was pretty and that we would give it a try. So, ooh, 
You guys, look at this. Oh, I hope you can see it on, oh, you can. This is the ish right here. It is so pigmented. Oh my God, I wanna put this on my eyes right now, but I won't, maybe, no, don't do it, Kel. Don't, 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 don't. Um, this is, let me just draw all over my hand for you. What? This is super metallic, super reflective. Oh, I'm excited about this. I am gonna go get this in every single color. Also, I drew all over my hand, so. Oops. You may be wondering what's currently on my lips because, oh, <laughs> that noise. You may be wondering what's currently on my lips. I feel like no matter what I'm talking about, someone, if not someone's, asks what's on my lips in the comments. And so I figured I would save you the trouble and just do my due diligence. This is Matte Confident from Milani. Is that the color or the shade? I can't ever tell with Milani. They're very confusing to us beauty neophytes. It's 67, it says Matte Confident. Is that the name? I don't know, but that's the color. It's, uh, it's like a pretty brick red. And I'm into it. I'm really into fall makeup so much so that I've already started even with my summer clothes. So that's happening. Here's another Milani thing. You guys, I'm obsessed with Milani. Who knew? Um, this is a brow tint pen. Here's why I really like this thing because I've already started using it. It's a really thin line. I don't even know if you can see it next to here. Let me put it on the other side. There it is. It's a really thin line and it just tints your brows. It's on my brows now, can you see? So especially because my hair is lighter, sorry I have an itch. Let's just, let's just, let's just handle it. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. So now that my hair is a lighter color, you know, obviously using my super dark pencil doesn't work. I had like every kind of eyebrow situation sent to me, purchased, whatever the case may be. And I am, you know, manually, dexterally, if that's a word, just better with a pencil than with a brush. Even combing it on, I feel like I'm a little too heavy handed with the brush. I'm just better with a pencil. Like I could even use a black pencil with this hair color and get it exactly right. It could be really light. And this is amazing because it's just a tint and there's a felt tipped pen. I will say that I probably could have gone one shade darker, but take a look. It is pretty darn great. Today was my first day trying it and I'm basically obsessed. This is in color dark brown, so I don't know if there's a shade darker than this. I did have, and I lost it when I was in Sonoma, I'm so bummed, I had the best pencil. It was in some sort of like coffee espresso color that was really dark and it was just a pencil, but it had like that creaminess to it so it was super easy to use. And I left it in a hotel room so it's gone forever and I don't know where I got it. I, you know, I do know where I got it. It was in some sort of random drugstore, but I don't know what brand it was like at all. So I grabbed this and I like it. Moving away from some of the drugstore things that I got the, from the Estee Edit and they sent me a bunch of the travel sizes. So, you know, cause I'm a traveler and I go places and I never check a bag, never, 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 ever, ever, uh, if humanly possible. And I wanted to try this, <coughs> <coughs> I wanted to try this in particular because uh, as much as I love my Neutrogena, you know, makeup remover pads, I feel like because I actually wear eyeshadow and sometimes lashes and mascara and liner, there's all these things on my eyes that I need a little bit more help getting it all off. And so this has been great. I've used it twice. The bottle's still quite full, but uh, yeah, this is from the Estee Edit. There it is. Check it out, you guys, check it out. Pretty sure this is gonna change my life. This is from Leighton Denny, and it is a miracle mist. What do you spray this on by chance? What miracle could we possibly need? Well, we need the miracle of not painting our nails and 30 seconds later touching something and ruining it. This is a speed drying spray. It's an aerosol, there's like this little, you know, a little noise maker in there. I used this once, it dried my nails in like nanoseconds and I was super impressed. 
the last beauty item I'm very excited about. So you guys, I haven't bought a new hair dryer in years. Like I don't even remember when I got my hair dryer because it just worked, you know, it worked and it was good enough and there was a cool setting, which is important because I like to cold blow dry my hair. You guys, this is from Bionic. Um, they sent this to me. I'm so excited to try this. Hello, the gold alone. I feel like I want one of those fancy slots, you know, where you put it in and it's like hanging somewhere, looking mad official. Why I look so official with this thing? Like, I am ready to blow dry, okay? So I love it because there's a lot of settings. There's the speed setting so you can have a soft blow you can have a hard blow <laughs> um and you can also have cool air warm air and hot air i do not like to put hot air on this hair so we will say cool and warm and leave the hot for someone else perhaps a house guest on to the fashions on to the fashions on to the fashions On to the fashion. The first thing I'm going to show you is basically amazing. I got it from the Eloquy Warehouse sale, which I don't know if it's still happening, but if it is, get the to the internets, okay? The discounts are cray. I will link below to all of these pieces um, so that you can have direct access and easy, no need for searching and such. But the first thing I got, and I don't remember the prices of anything, I'll also put that below, is this blazer. It is bomb. Okay, first of all, I'm five foot ten. My arms are long. The sleeves are long. There are buttons that are bomb. I love this because it's a double breasted blazer and it has the most cool shape. It's meant to be buttoned. It looks awesome. It looks great open. It looks great buttoned. I am here for it. So good. The next thing I got you is just so freaking sweet. I had to have it and there's pom poms. There's pom poms, you guys. It's a little white dress, as we say. Off the shoulder dress. It is in a sort of gauzy material. So this is definitely a summer dress. Here's why I bought a summer dress in August, because you know, it's kind of nearing the end of the season and you are kind of moving on to fall clothes. One, I chase the sun, okay? So it's the end of summer in New York City, but I will find me some summer in these here winter months. And I like to have things that I didn't wear all summer long. So that's reason number one. Also, it's hot as Hades. Like it is literally 100 degrees for the last two weeks in New York. So I'm gonna get all the wear out of this. I'm gonna wear this to one of my boyfriend's parties. I'm gonna wear this to meet people for lunch. Every time I'm with a new set of people, I'm gonna wear this dress. I'm gonna get so much wear out of it and it's gonna be so worth it. I'm also gonna throw it in my suitcase and take it somewhere warm because it deserves it, you know? I'd also like to add that I just shot that dress today and it looked so cute. I can't wait to show you how I styled it. It will be on my blog next week, so keep your eyes peeled. And of course, it'll be on Instagram. It's me, Kelly B. Hello. That's where you know stuff first. I swear everything happens on Instagram first in this year life. It just does. Moving right along. Something else I bought from the Eloquy Warehouse sale. And you see the crochet. It is a crochet column skirt, which is basically a pencil skirt, but just longer. It sort of wraps sexily around the bottom of your knees and into your top of your calf. I ordered a size up, and I actually could have ordered my true size just to have it a little bit more snug. But what I love about this is that even though it's crochet, it has a heavy enough weight to wear throughout the um, early part of the fall. And the way that I styled it, I also shot this today. And the way that I styled it was early fall, late summer, but I'm definitely gonna be rocking that baby with a leather jacket and some bomb boots. So we'll, we'll be able to carry that through at least into like October probably. So I'm gonna get my wear out of that as well. More from that bomb sale, you guys. And this is still in the package, hello. Does this count as an unboxing? Cause like, let's just count it, you know, for fun. I'm gonna be rocking trousers. 
you know i'm gonna be doing the trouser thing this fall and i am super into these the color is gorge and it goes with look it goes with all of the sort of autumn-y metallic makeup i'm gonna be wearing i feel like this I don't know, orangey brown color is gonna look so, look, so bomb with black. And I can't wait to make these a thing. I think I can make them a thing. Last on the fashion front, another thing that is still in the package. You guys, um, I do hope that you know that buying a bathing suit right now is the best way to buy one. It is, they're on sale, okay? Some of your favorite styles might be sold out, but you need to check because I had my eye on this um, basically all summer and it was still available and Blaine Brandt sent it over to me. I didn't get it quite in time to wear in Barbados, which is where I wanted to wear it. But also I wore another, I, I actually got to know this brand because I wore another red Lila Rose bikini on um, Instagram and you guys went crazy and basically loved it and I loved it too. And so did the people at the hotel. People kept stopping me like, you look amazing, you look amazing. And I was like, thanks guys. I open it with you. Another technical unbagging, um, unboxing, not gonna lie. Okay, so this is, ooh, yes. Wait, I need to go somewhere and wear this this weekend. Like, when can I wear this? I need a plan for water. Like, when am I going to water? <gasps> is there water next week? I think so. Beautiful, right? Prints, bomb, straps, bomb, cutout. It's a cutout, yes. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. So this is the top. It's sort of long, which makes it a little tankini-ish, which, but let's just, you know, let's just take it for a test run. And then these are the bottoms. I truly believe that this stuff is still on the site. So I need to go check it out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The bottoms, so cute. So cute. Ooh, the flower's like right on the tush. That's pretty cute. So that's that's it, you guys. That's what's new in. Let me know how you're feeling. I'm taking a break from vlogging, but that does not mean I'm not gonna make videos. I'm actually gonna be making more videos. I'm gonna try to set up a schedule and so that you'll know what to look forward to. So if you are more into fashion, you'll know when. If you're more into beauty, you'll know when. Sometimes they'll be combined, like now. If you're more into travel, you'll know when. Travel videos, fashion, all things that are part of my lifestyle will still be around. I just won't be like following myself around because you know been there done that we did it right on to the next if you want to know anything more about my life what i'm doing um what i'm up to please don't hesitate to leave a comment if you want to say hi leave a comment if you want to say you like something leave a comment because i answer them all i respond to every single comment and it's one of my favorite things to do wake up early or late at night to respond to you guys and have a conversation with you because I want this to be an us thing. I don't want to just be talking at you. I want to talk with you. With that said, it is the end of our time here. Um, I think I'm posting this video Saturday morning. So happy Saturday, you guys. I hope you are gonna have an amazing weekend. That's my calming voice. You feel soothed in your soul. Tell me you do. Anyway, I'm rambling. That's it for me. Bye.